Yes lads, how's it going? Danny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's currently 15 seconds until 6pm. Uh, fingers crossed we get a good SBC. We had a Deli Alley SBC yesterday. It, it, it wasn't good value, it wasn't bad value, it was it was kind of a, a, a meh SBC in all honesty. Hopefully, uh, fingers crossed we can get some good content today. It is now 6pm. Uh, let's see what EA have in store for us. Is there anything or am I going to have a... Oh, okay. Wissam Ben Yedda has came out. A kit SBC. We love a kit SBC. That's actually a pretty good kit to be fair. Um, I want to I wanna see there's five segments... For a Wissam Ben Yedda. Now we know how. Oh, I'm, if you, by the way, if you see me looking down, I'm waiting for EA to tweet it out. They haven't tweeted out. Um, we know how overpowered. Sorry, <laughs> off topic there. Uh, we know how overpowered Wissam Ben Yedda is. Uh, is it going to be? Whoa. That is quite. I mean, it's not. It's not good value. Uh, I, I'm not making. You know, it, it's not. What I meant is, it, it's not surprisingly cheap. Okay, uh, it's an 87. Uh, so 88? Wow, they've actually gone full out on this. The great... Uh, I mean, I don't have to go through uh, the stats that he's good at. The pace is unreal. The shooting's unreal. The passing's good. Uh, dribbling is unreal. As he's by far the best asset. That is a serious bad-looking card, man. A, um, bad in uh, as in a good way, by the way. Are they going to tweet it out or what? I think they've just forgot to tweet it out, boys. I'll be completely honest with you. Anyway, great card. Um, I, I'm always quite bad with... Um, with with determined prices, I said yesterday Deli Ali was like 180k, and I was like 50k off. So don't take my word for it asap. The packs back. To be fair, they're not terrible. Like for the for the standard of this game, um, it's not bad because they have started to put the packs down a lot. Uh, so a rare Electrum is good. Prime Gold is okay. Small Red is good. It's not bad packs back. Um, FIFA 19, we've probably got a lot better packs. However, you need... Right, so let's actually go through what you need. In 84, we're in inform. I believe that'll be like... I, I don't... I'm really bad. I think it'll be like 60, 70k. I believe it'll be like 60k, 70k. 85 is, I believe, the same. So let's just say that's 120. 85 in inform. Maybe another 80k. So that's 200. 86... 86 is what hung. Let's say that's like 350. Now this is, don't don't take my like pin, take this with a pinch of salt. I'm awful at calculating um you know price. So that's about 350, and 87 is quite a lot. I think that will, it'll probably be 400. EA, EA still haven't tweeted it. Uh, it will probably be like 450, 400 to 500k. Now that might be completely wrong. I said I said Deli Ali was going to be 180. So don't you know take mate. Maybe lower it and higher it, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're looking at about, uh, I'll say 450k card here. Now, on the market, you have to ask yourself, what is he going to go for? If we ho head over to Footbin and get his uh, second, in, uh, third in form, is it second? No, second in form. His second in form right now on the market, without it crashing, is roughly 500k. Oh, okay. That's actually got interesting. So he's... Second in form on a market. Now, he's probably going to go down a bit after this SBC. Yeah, he still haven't tweeted it. Um, He's probably going to go down uh, like after this SBC. But his second in form on a market is 500k. And if I've done my calculation right, this Ben Yedda is similar priced. And you're getting an upgrade. Now, obviously, it is... um. It is untradeable, okay? You can't get the coins back. We know that, okay? We don't care. Um, Yeah, so... His second inform is 500k. This is probably about the same. So you're basically paying the same amount of coins. I know it's untradeable for a pretty good upgrade. I'm not sure what the upgrade is like. Uh, so he's 88. So it's a plus two. So it's from his second inform. It's a plus two pace, which is decent. Not not nothing to write home about. Plus two is okay. So plus two, plus three, plus. So it's basically plus twos and then plus three for passing. Not a bad upgrade by any means. Uh, and obviously, it's a fantastic upgrade from his gold card. We all, I mean, his gold is an 83, it's an 88. Honestly, I'm quite happy with this. I didn't expect it. Uh, I was expecting a headliner, but that believe, I believe that's it. This kit actually looks quite good, but we won't get onto that. Uh, we have marquee moments. Okay, I, I thought that was an icon SPC there. I can't lie, I thought that was an icon SPC. I'll go, I'll quickly check objectives and I'll go back into the... Uh, Another kit? No, no one cares about these kits, EA. Okay, so nothing really new. Uh, we go straight into back into the SBC of Ben Yedda. Deli Ali's still there. We're Sam Ben Yedda. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Uh, is he high-high? He's high-high. It's not great. 
Let's go. Let's head over to Footbin. I like doing these comparisons. Oh, yeah, you're going to tweet. Let me... Let me see if EA... By the way, quick plug. Go go follow my uh, Twitter. Let's see if EA want to tweet um, announcing this, or am I just going to be here? No, they still haven't tweeted. Right, that's the last time I'm checking. Anyway, so I assume this card is going to drop uh, very much. I'm not a trader, but that's basic knowledge, I, I believe. Um, let's see what the let's see what the votes are saying. Yeah, he's getting pretty nicely uh, pretty nicely voted on Footbin. In terms of chemistry, uh, sorry, chemistry style, should I say? I don't know, man. The the pace is good enough. The shooting is fantastic for a striker. Passing is phenomenal for a striker. Dribbling is incredible for a striker. The only thing he's lacking is the strength, which you're not pl you're not using Ben Yedder to muscle people. You're using him to dribble. So with that being said, maybe I want to see here people. This, by the way, footballers are sick. They have so you can vote. There's only four votes right now. Let me see if I can refresh it a little bit more. Where's it gone? Uh, still four, but as of right now, it's a Hunter. Uh, I'm not sure about that. And <laughs> Shadow. Uh, one that caught my eye. Hawk could be good to get that up. But also, nah, he only does plus five strength. We need something that does plus ten, ideally. Even that's a little bit dodgy. Maybe, if you're playing them cam, maybe an architect is the one. Because it, it boosts his passing and gets the, um, the physical up. So he gets plus ten on strength, which is... Pretty crucial, in my opinion. Hunter, I, Hunter, you can do. You definitely can do, Hunter. Uh, it really depends how you're playing him. In my opinion, uh, in a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, uh, as a striker or cam, 89 pace is completely fine. Uh, however, if you're playing a 4 2 3 one as, uh, him as a lone striker, yeah, I'll tell you, Hunter is pretty, um, pretty good. Maybe, yeah, maybe a Hawk. Just to get that physical up a little bit. I'm not really a big fan of using chemistry styles to boost the physical. I know it sounds weird. I don't I don't feel the physical boost. Um, so for a Hawk, I never feel plus 5. Like, why would you? Unless it's like 80 to 85. I don't really feel it. S Sniper, I think you want to avoid uh, boosting the dribbling. It's basically maxed out. I know it's 90. But the agility is, is close to max. Same with the balance. And then all the others are high 80s or, or 90, which is, in my opinion, completely fine. I think if you're putting a chem style on him, it's just going to overdo it. Like, you don't, you want to focus in other areas, in my personal opinion. It's all about, it's all about play styles. If you want to whack an engine on him, get more dribbling, feel free, please do. The composure is very good. I think that's a very good upgrade. Actually, I thought he had a little less composure. The stamina is quite low for a, for, for a striker. If you're playing 500k, the stamina is... Is a little bit dodgy. Okay, let's not let's not um, hide about that. The stamina is a little bit dodgy. What's Messi's? Let me just check uh, check real quick. I think Messi's is similar. I think it's like seventy six or something, seventy five. And Messi towards the later ends of the game, he definitely does get um, gets gets tired. So it's a little bit dodgy. You're paying five hundred k for an untradeable player that will gas out within seventy minutes, in my opinion. You're not really doing this card for a super sub, so yeah, you will probably, especially if you're going to extra time, you're going to have to sub this guy off or he's just not going to make runs, especially with his high, high work rates. It's going to be very, very dodgy uh, with his stamina. But honestly, guys, um, overall, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I, I don't know if I, what I expected the SBC to come in at. It's obviously not going to update because it's five squads. I'm calculating. I might be absolutely wrong. This might be like 900k or some stupid stuff like that. I'm seeing. I'm thinking it's about 500k. For maybe like 450. Uh, hopefully, you lot can tell me in the comment section down below. However, 500k for this, right? He's in form. Is 490. I I. Oh my <laughs> lads. He, I've mate. I, I'm a trader, mate. He's dropped in the in this recording. It's been nine minutes. He's dropped what? 50k. That's mental. So. You're, right, let's just say he's going to stabilise at 400. He might not. You're still paying pretty much the same amount for a, a plus two upgrade on his second in form. In my opinion, this could very much... If you're rocking a Ligue 1 or a French side or just can link him, obviously he's got great links for being in the Ligue 1 now, not the Liga. Uh, strong links such as Team Lier and Mbappe. Um, I normally avoid the icons of that. He's strong... Oh, that's, that's sick. He's strong links to play a moment's Lala, which is... Still available? 
Yeah, so he strong links to Kenny Lala, who you have two days to do. I think this is an overall dub for me, eh, lads? I generally think this is a W. Uh, I'm going to call it a day there, lads. I've tried to make these a little bit more compact and not just waffle. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, let me know, leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you hopefully again tomorrow for another day of good content. Good content for me, eh? Keep it up. Peace.